have participated in the beta, and I want to share my thoughts. The lag was unbearable, as was the hit detection. Many times I found myself dying to lag, or simply to players that had a better connection. And it was extremely frustrating. Things like this, infuriated me. While sniping was fun, I quickly became bored as it takes absolutely no skill, and anyone can point and shoot. Showing the top play on each game, is not needed. The gameplay is always based on multi-kills. It should be about how a player performed, kills, flag captures and more. But my top plays never showed this, it was always about flanking kills. Taking the game winning flag, is worthy of a top play, not flanking a spawn point, that's just my opinion. But while many of my games were fun, it quickly became very boring. The hit detections need to be massively improved, and the weapons need balancing. Submachine guns have a ridiculous range, you don't even need to use an assault rifle. The graphics are extremely poor. But I have to say, the lag in this beta is disgraceful. The new Omni movement is horrible. It really has ruined Call of Duty. So Raven and Treyarch are going to have to really think long and hard about this. I'm watching bad players, flying through the air like superheroes, and I just don't expect that. Remember the golden rule. I will let Ian Malcolm speak to you directly about this Omni movement. I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Please, get rid of this silly movement. It doesn't belong in Call of Duty. I want to show a few things from one of my games. The movement seemed clunky, and at times I felt I was on a ship swaying from side to side. I felt using a submachine gun, seemed to be better than the assault rifles, they seemed to clunky and slow. I also felt it was important to show gameplay on a console, away from cheats and scripts. It's just a PS5 and a basic <laughs> Sorry. standard controller. I didn't mess with my settings, minimap or any of it, I wanted you to see gameplay, as if you picked it up from a default base. The only thing that I do different, is set tactical, so my analog stick becomes my crouch. This allows me to drop shot when I need it. For the purpose of this video, I used the default class, so you can see how it looks without anything. This also removed some of my perks, but it's not about my game. It's about giving you a fair review. Why are you um, not using your kill streaks? Because I found them very boring, but it's more down to the map. The missiles are useless, and the chopper You can literally would be split the missiles into three. So. Exactly, three useless missiles. Will you just please use the kill streaks? You're supposed to be doing a review, and right now you haven't Quiet. used any. The maps seem really small. Very um, small, fun but small. Like I have played a few times, and they seemed small. I was constantly getting back killed, but then I got my chopper gunner, and boy did I let fly! You should have seen me. It was crazy. I was like, boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. There is dead. no chopper gunner. What are you talking about? The, um. No, so it was the killstreak glitched or something and it caused a malfunction. Absolute clown behavior. Gosh, you're infuriating sometimes. So, uh, what's your thoughts on the game in general? Are we buying the game or not buying it? I think the studios did a very good job, and you will never please everyone. But for me personally, I feel the game to be clunky and completely dependent on this new movement. They listened to streamers and went down the movement route. And because of this, it just doesn't feel like Call of Duty. All these streamers saying things like, they're back, is just cringe. Back from what exactly? MW3 was a game that also had streamer input. The hit marker detection is poor, and the time to kill is ridiculous. I have to put many more bullets into my opponents that they put into me, and that's a fact. The only people that will enjoy this game, are people 12 and under, that want to run around with submachine guns, and that is a problem and not how I play this game. So for me, I will be giving this year's release a miss, and will find something else. It's disappointing, as it will be the first time, I will not be excited for launch day. The streamers wanted this, they have it, but it's not for me. So, there was a tweet on social media, that was asking who the prettiest female Warzone streamer was. I don't Did really you care, it? most of them are built like mountain trolls. Oh, no stop that, that is not nice. Real beauty is on the inside, not 
the outside. That's just something ugly people say. Unbelievable. Oh, nice frag. I did enjoy this map, as the spawn seemed no, to be very good. No, the map's actually pretty good. Sorry, go on. And the Omni movement is pointless. Streamers love movement, because they can't kill anyone without dancing around them, like fairies. Like Joe the movement king? Exactly. If you think this video deserves a like, please do, as it helps to push my videos out on YouTube. And thank you. So, what does the pink square mean? Probably a missing perk from perk 3. I must have forgotten to enable it. I keep talking about lag, because it's basically unplayable. Completely turning me around, sending me straight into enemy gunfire. These streamers, who are currently streaming this game, have completely different lobbies to me than you. Watching them post kill records, in a full party is cringe. And those lobbies, well, the enemy players just run into them, without even shooting. My games are extremely competitive, but the streamers, wouldn't dare head into multiplayer alone. They need a full team behind them, while they boost into different countries, to avoid the skill-based matchmaking. Not me though, what you see is what you get. My highlight of the day, was headshotting a Cronus Zen user. Now that, is an anti-cheat. I haven't ran into anyone exploiting the movement mechanics yet, like in this clip. But those players normally live in bot lobbies, and playing against players that don't shoot back. Take a look at this video. Do you think this movement is going to bring new players to Call of Duty? No, it's going to turn them away from this game. Macros, and programs that are designed to abuse the game mechanics, are a serious problem with Call of Duty. And with this, concludes my gameplay review for Call of Duty Black Ops 6.